Hey guys, Ryan here at Signature Edits, and inside of this Lightroom tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install your new Lightroom presets in Lightroom CC Mobile. Now, before we go any further, if you do have Lightroom on desktop, you're much better off installing the presets there and auto-syncing them over to your mobile device, so watch my tutorial for that instead. If, however, you only have Lightroom on your phone, then this tutorial is for you. So, to get things Wow, I'm stuttering. To get things started, head over to wherever you're downloading your presets. In this case, it's shop.signatureedits.com. I'm going to log in here. And once I log in, I'll be able to see the presets that I've purchased. So in this demo, I'm going to be showing you the Lightroom white presets. However, this is going to apply no matter which presets you're installing to Lightroom Mobile. So I'm going to go to these presets and start by downloading the DNG files. If you only have Lightroom Mobile, you need to install your presets via DNG files, which is basically a photo that has the preset baked in. So we're going to download each of these files. And depending on when you're watching this video, if you're downloading from Signature Edits, there should be a download all option. However, in this case, I'm just going to download them all one at a time really quick. And while that's happening, we should just talk about how to download these files to your device. On my iOS device, it's actually no big deal. I just hit download and it's going to download it to my files. If you have an Android or a different iOS situation going on, you might need to actually look up how to download files on your phone. Another easy way of doing it, if you have access to a computer, is to download those files onto your computer first and then send them by Dropbox or AirDrop or text message to your phone. There's lots of different ways to do it. So once that's finished, we're going to open up Lightroom Mobile, and then we're going to go down here to the Import Photos option and go to Import from Files. So I'm gonna go down and one at a time go through here. I'm fast forwarding just so it's a little quicker. I'm selecting each of these files one at a time. So with this preset pack, there's 10 of them, so I'm gonna to have to do it 10 times, which is why if you do have Lightroom on your computer, you can do it all at once. Once that is finished, you'll see that in your library, you have all of your DNG files. So that's all the presets applied to each of these files. Now to actually apply presets to other photos, we simply copy the settings, make sure everything is selected, then find a photo we want to apply the preset to, go up to these three dots, hit paste settings, and the preset should show up. Now, once you do that, you can go ahead and select another photo, hit paste settings, repeat the process, or go back to your other DNG files and select a different preset to apply. So it's really that easy. You simply go, apply the settings, and then you can tweak that preset. And I'll show you how right now. Look for the little icon that says Profiles in the bottom. You're going to select it, and you see this fader? We can actually fade the amount and intensity of the preset with this particular pack. Now, not all of our preset packs or presets out there have custom profiles, but a lot of ours do, and this one in particular does, which makes it a lot easier to actually dial in the specific settings for each photo. So we'll just paste those settings, and this photo, it actually doesn't look good. Why is that? Well, most of the time, it's because your exposure isn't right or your white balance needs some tweaking. So we're gonna start by brightening things up, dropping the contrast down a little bit here, maybe lower the shadows slightly, raise the whites, uh, we'll see. And then we're gonna go over to our white balance now and just try warming and cooling things down. So if the preset isn't working, it's not looking good, it might be because your white balance just needs adjusting. You can see what a major difference this makes in the colors and the way that the preset works. So go ahead, adjust your white balance, play with the tint, and you'll find you get much better results when you dial those things in for each photo. Presets are great, but each photo has a unique lighting situation. You just need to work around that. So at this point, you might be wondering, Ryan, why are you saying to grab the DNG and copy the settings and then paste it onto another photo and do that again every single time when I could just go up here where it says create preset, select create preset and create my own? Well, that's a great question. Unfortunately, at the time of this video, at least, when you have a custom profile in your preset like this, when you create that preset, Lightroom won't save it onto your phone. The only way to get that profile onto your phone is to copy it and paste it or to import your presets from Lightroom, the desktop app. So I know it's frustrating, but that extra step is necessary if you want to have presets with profiles and have them work on Lightroom Mobile. So you can go ahead and test it for yourself. Maybe since this video was made, there has been an update to Lightroom and they fixed this bug, in which case you can go ahead, go through each of these DNG files one at a time. So this one's number 10, we go in here, we go create preset, we'll call it white 10 and just go through and create a preset for each of them. And then you have them in your presets folder. But right now, at least with this version of Lightroom, unfortunately that doesn't work. It doesn't properly copy over the profile. So just a bug we have to work around. The copy paste method works just fine. All right, so 
all in all, that is how you install and add presets on your Lightroom mobile phone. I hope this video has been helpful. If you have other questions, you're having issues, my first advice to you would be to look on YouTube for another tutorial. Try checking for an update to Lightroom, the app. And if you've got a different version from what this video is showing you, Lightroom, uh, Lightroom, YouTube has tons of different tutorials on there. And oftentimes you'll be able to find the answer a lot quicker than waiting to hear back from support. So I'm happy to answer your questions. Make sure to ask them in the comments, but know that most of the time you can find the answer on YouTube. So it's a great use or resource, make use of it. Other than that, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful. If not, well, you can give it two thumbs down. I don't really care. Express yourself. That's cool. And make sure to subscribe if you want more awesome editing tutorials. Lastly, if you want to share your work and be seen by our other awesome photographers out there, make sure to use the hashtag at Signature Edits Co. so we can see what you're up to, what awesome work you're creating, and use the hashtag Signature Edits Presets. Okay, I will see you in the next video. And until then, go create something awesome. Take care.